We are heading to back up another unit on a traffic stop. She's requested our canine unit, so it's possible there's some kind of narcotic activity. Hey man, you mind if I, can you face the car? I'm just gonna do a pat down real quick, all right? I appreciate it. You got anything on you? Do you have anything on you? Um, only thing in my pocket is my gold teeth. Your gold teeth? Yeah. Okay. So she does a traffic stop. This guy in the black shirt bolts back into the house. Apparently he ditched whatever he, whatever was inside the car. This is the house you stay at though? Yeah, I see this going on. I walk outside. I got no idea what's going on, man. Oh, you just came outside and saw the cop car? Yeah. You weren't in the car? I walked back to the house once and this guy said he was pulled over. Oh, uh, okay. He be right out. I don't know. All right. All right, just hang out for me. We, the dog hit on the on the vehicle for narcotics, so we're just going just gonna to do a quick search. Ooh. No way, buddy. What was that at? Right here in the back. Thank you. Yeah, yeah this was, they tried to cover it up with these jackets. That's a lot of weed. Dang, that smells fresh. Yeah, that's really fresh. Oh, it's gonna be a felony amount, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love the doggy. I grabbed this little pocketbook that was on the passenger side and there's a lot of cash and there's a little, um, looks like a cellophane wrapper with some pills in it. We haven't identified them yet, but we'll identify them and uh, see if they're a scheduled substance. What's the deal with the marijuana then? The marijuana came from the other guy. He just dropped all that marijuana off? Yeah. Well, he doesn't just give you guys that much weed though. You guys were gonna buy it. No. He must have dropped it, because, like I said, he, I only, what, he, she only was gonna get like something small. You were driving, your girlfriend wanted some marijuana, the goal was to just purchase a small amount, so realistically, you came here to purchase marijuana, right? Yeah. You came down here to purchase weed, right? No. You didn't come here to get marijuana? No. So what's who, what's the other guy? What's his involvement? Why does he get in the car? Why does he run out of the car? I don't know. I don't know why he ran out of the car. All right. What was found? That's what, what made me like, what the hell is going on? All right. What did you, do you are you prescribed any medications or anything? No. Okay. So why do we find oxys inside your bag? That I don't know. Do you think we put them there? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't know. Well, I, I didn't well, I don't know. Does it, that doesn't work? Well, I didn't put them there, so I'm not sure how they got there. I'm just really curious. I'd like to catch the person that put those pills in your pocketbook. She's playing the innocent card. She's acting like she has no idea what's going on. I don't, I don't buy it. The, the pills were somehow magically appeared inside of her purse. So she's going to go to jail for possession controlled substance. I got to talk to Deputy Bronson and see what she wants to do with the marijuana because it was found in the center. So it always gets touchy with charging people with like that. But. Someone's going to jail for it. We just got to talk to him again, see what story he gives us this time. So your buddy here calls you, or you call him. I haven't figured that out yet. They show up at your house. You come out to sell them some stuff, right? Dude, you are high on some crazy stuff. I'm a drinker. I don't do I walked outside to see what the was going on, and then I'll see this and get arrested. And nobody wanted to admit to the possession of marijuana. Uh, it's 145 grams, so we can't just let it go. So all three were inside the vehicle. All three are going to jail, as well as the female catching the possession of controlled substance.